Hey, what is going on guys, Computer Surgeon here, and if you've checked out my last few videos, I've done a few on how to clean up a Mac, kind of enhance your Mac experience, make it run a little bit faster, and re remove programs or files that you don't use that could be taking up some hard drive space. Now, these are great and all, but one thing that I didn't cover in those videos was antivirus software. Now, there's a reason for this, just because there's so many different kinds of antivirus software, they're a breed of their own, and there's just way too many to go over in one video. Now, I'm going to be going over my favorite two in this video, and I kind of rank them on some different statistics in which I will go into greater detail in a few minutes. But these are Sophos and Avast. Now these are both free and they're both for Mac. I tried to steer clear of any one that you had to pay for just because not a lot of people are willing to spend you know 40, 60, 80 or a hundred dollars on antivirus software and necessarily the ones you have to pay for aren't the greatest or better than the free ones. So I'm going to be going over the two best free ones that you can possibly get and in my opinion they trump things like Norton and Avira and other things like that. So the first one is Sophos and I'm going to leave the link to the downloads in the description and you can go ahead and once you download these you're going to get two different ones in the tab bar. Now if you want to download both of these you need to download Avast first because if you download Sophos and then Avast it's going to give you an error saying that Sophos isn't compatible with Avast whatever that means. So I'm going to go ahead and open Sophos and this one's probably my favorite just because it's really clean, it's really neat and it's simple cut and to the point. So right off the bat you get a really nice user interface and pretty much all you're going to be looking at is the full scan option and the protections. Now the full scan obviously if you just hit scan now it's going to scan all the items on your computer which in my case is 1.139 million. Obviously I'm not going to do that for this video just because it's going to take probably three or four hours to scan but you get the idea. So you can go ahead and do a custom scan and it's going to alert you as to the threats it found. That's where this protection and exceptions come in so in the protections you have automatic virus protection, web protection and potentially unwanted app detection. Now these are always going to be on but you can manage exceptions like let's say I have an app and Sophos marks it as you know a virus. I can go into the exceptions and mark that different or I can mark that application as an exception so it knows not to delete it or put it in quarantine or things like that. So that is something that I really like about Sophos because it's not a it's not going to continually warn you that you might have something that's a virus when you specifically know it's not. Obviously, if you're not sure what it is, I would go ahead and delete it, but that's one of the things you can do with Sophos. The home dashboard is kind of just like a user interface that I kind of like because I can manage my um, different types of you know, computers from this. Right now, I only have my Mac on here, obviously, but if you go ahead and go in uh, here and click home dashboard, it's going to take you here and you can manage your different devices from here which if you have like a Mac at home you can go ahead and run a custom scan remotely to that PC or Mac so right here this is the one I'm currently on so let's say I were to click on this and I can even run a custom scan but if it's online it will scan when it's back online so it obviously needs to be connected to the internet and on and open so that's just one of the things that I like about Sophos that it has kind of a dashboard that you can go ahead and fiddle around with I personally haven't checked out the entire thing but there are a lot of cool features that you can use in here. And for Sophos, that's pretty much about it. That's one of the things that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy about this is because not a lot of people like those complicated user interfaces. They just want to be able to custom scan and just go and do whatever. Now, one of the reasons that Sophos is number one on my list is because it has the smallest footprint when it comes to running tasks in the background. So let's say, obviously, you know, this is going to take a while since there's 1.139 million items. So I want to do, you know, some editing, some YouTube in the background. It's not going to slow my PC down or my Mac, excuse Excuse me, it's not going to slow my Mac down as much as other ones. That's one of the reasons that a lot of people complain about Norton is because it takes up about 10% of your CPU in the background when it's running a task or idle. So this one, when it's running idle, it takes about 0.4% of your CPU usage. And when it's running, it uses about 2%, which is pretty much nothing compared to Norton's 26.9 when it's actually running a scan. So for Sophos, that's pretty much about it. Obviously, I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that task. But if you want to mess around with the home dashboard, Board, please feel free to but it's a very simple program to use and I think it's probably one of my favorites so we're gonna go ahead and check out a vast now the last one and like I said the link for this the download link for this is gonna be in the description so I'm gonna go ahead and give it an open and this also has a pretty nice user interface but there are some things that I kind of feel uh, could mislead somebody um, in here and I'm gonna go over those right now down here it's gonna kind of give you a bunch of different 
types of things that you can use. Like if we go under tools, it's gonna give you Avast Online Security, Password, Secure Line VPN. If you wanna use those, go ahead and feel free to, but honestly, they're just kind of a waste. I personally don't use them. If I were to use something like Avast Passwords or something, I'd probably use Dashlane, VPN. There's a bunch of different better ones out there that you could probably use. I personally don't really like to use any of these, but if you guys wanna try those out and test them out, you guys are more than welcome to. But right when you open it, it's gonna take you to the status. It's gonna tell you you're protected. Everything's up to date. If there is a update, it's gonna tell you that you should update it now. And this is just the secure line VPN and I don't really wanna update that. So if you take a look at the scan, it's gonna go ahead and let us do a custom scan, a full system scan, removable volume scan, which is kind of what I like about this opposed to Sophos is that you can do a custom scan. Obviously, if you just wanna do a quick scan, you can do a full one. Removable volumes just means things like external hard drives, you know, USB drives and things like that. So if you wanna do a test on those, you can run this scan. Custom scans you can perform on any selected folder. So if you just wanna do something in, you know, in your applications or documents, it's gonna take a lot less time than doing a full system scan. Home network security scan pretty much is gonna scan for all network devices. This isn't something you need to worry about unless you're sharing your device across the network. And then the schedule scan, it's just gonna schedule the scan. You can set this to run you know, every Wednesday at two in the morning or what have you. But if we go into the reports, it's gonna tell you if it's found anything and the virus chest is kind of like the quarantine virus protection scan. So if it finds something, it's gonna tell you, it's gonna tell you when it was found and when it was put in quarantine and it's gonna tell you where it was located and you can either restore these or delete these. I would highly recommend deleting them if you don't know what they are, but if you know what they are, then go ahead and restore that. Um, but Shields is just kind of like a full system file shield and it's gonna scan all the files that you use on a daily basis. So let's say you go into documents, open a few folders, it's going to check those folders in real time as you're checking them, which is something that I kind of like about uh, Avast. Last but not least, if we go into the account, it's just going to, you know, take you to your um, Avast account settings. It's going to take a while to load, so I'm not really going to worry about that. And then preferences, you can do updates, malicious. Um, this is going to let you do, you know, um, update to beta. You can do update now, pop-ups, things like notifications, things like that. And then the shields for, you know, the mail shield, it's going to check all incoming mail for Mac in your mail application. Web shield is going to take a look at things that you're browsing for, you know, might find some malware, adware, and the file system shield is just going to take a look at all the files on your computer. So that is basically about it for both of these programs. Obviously, you can go ahead and play around. You can do a scan. I'm not going to do scans for this video just because it's going to take a while. I have a ton of different files on mine, but there you have it. Both of these programs are pretty solid. I would recommend both of them if you guys want to check them out. I will, like I said, I will leave the links to the download in the description. I would definitely recommend having maybe one or two of these on your Mac and especially something like malware bytes just to do a malware scan every now and then so guys if you did like this video or it did help you put a thumbs up it really helps me out if you want to see more videos like this go ahead and subscribe comment in the section below on some videos you might want to see in the future i'm going to start doing videos around every two or three days i don't want to run out of ideas too quickly so obviously i'm gonna to have to spread them out a little bit but i really hope you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you guys in the next video peace out and thanks for watching